welcome back to another video. My name is Jill and today I'm going to be doing my 2018 edition of my bookshelf tour. So let's just get right on into it. I'm going to keep this intro short because I know that this video is going to be extremely long because I'm going to be doing an in-depth bookshelf tour and that means that I'm going to be showing every single book that's on my shelf. So in order to make it maybe a little bit easier for you guys to navigate, I am going to be leaving timestamps down in the description box. That's going to tell you the exact time that I'm going to be showing showing a certain section. So if you guys have seen my 2017 edition of my bookshelf tour, I actually had my shelves arranged according to genre. So it was a little bit easier to do timestamps that way because I could just say why fantasy, why historical fiction and all that kind of stuff. But since all my genres are all like intermingled throughout this thing, I'm going to be having just a normal YA section, a classic section, um, an ARC section which stands for advanced readers copy, a Harry Potter section, a miscellaneous section and a children's book section. And also I'm going to be showing a brief a little overview right at the start and so if you don't want to watch the entire in-depth thing you can still see what's on my shelf in the little overview section. So if you want to skip to a certain part of that like I said timestamps will be left in the description box. So yeah I think that's all I'm going to say in this intro because I'm just going to get right on into it and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. with the red section of my young adult books. Um, first off, I have this quote by Lee Bardugo, and then I have this candle that I got from one of my owl crates. So getting straight into the books, the first one I have is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Scythe by Neil Schusterman. The Call by Piotr O'Guilan. Dragon Air by Cinda Williams Chima. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Ensnared by A.G. Howard. The Crimson Crown by Cinda Williams Chima. Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes. The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. The Sorcerer Air by Cinda Williams Chima. Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. Kids of Appetite by David Arnold. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. Dorothy Must Die by Daniel Page. Replica by Lauren Oliver. I Crawl Through It by A.S. King. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Paper Towns by John Green. Dorothy Must Die Stories by Daniel Page. Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. And The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. And finally for the shelf, a Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. Now keeping with the rainbow, we're going to move on to this shelf. The only little decoration I have is this little like rust color cup thing. First up, I have The Mark of Athena by Rick Riordan. Siren vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Firefight by Brandon Sanderson. The Kill Order by James Dashner. The Giver by Lois Lowry. The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I and the Messenger by Marcus Zusa. Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor. More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. Gloria O'Brien's History of the Future by A.S. King. Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. The Passion of Dulsa by Julie Berry. Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan. And finally on the shelf we have The Mage Runner by James Dash. 
conditioner. Now getting into the green shelf. The first decoration that I have is this little bottle that says read me on it that I got from an author that I think is super super cute. And then I have this little friendship fish thing. First up we have Air of Fire by Sarah J Mass. Splintered by A.G. Howard. Bang by Lisa McMahon. The Wizard Air by Cinda Williams Chima. Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead. Blue Lily Lily Blue by Maggie Steve Otter. Insurgent by Veronica Roth. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Ignite Me by Tahara Moff. The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mack. A Crown of Wishes by Roshani Choshki. The Wicked Will Rise by Daniel Pate. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. Liza and Her Monsters by Francesca Sapia. Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. Skeeter Land by David Arnold. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. First Life by Jenna Showalter. These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. The Reader by Tracy Chi. And finally, A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. Moving on to some of the blue books, the decoration that I have on this shelf is this absolutely beautiful work of calligraphy that my friend at A Stroke of Genius on Instagram did, so definitely go check her out. She's amazing. I love her. Starting off this shelf, we have Anixia by Scott Reinschen. In Real Life by Joey Graceffa. Never Fade by Alexandra Brack. Frostbite by Rochelle Mead. Young Elites by Marie Lu. Fires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. Midnight Star by Marie Lu. Four by Veronica Roth. The Valiant by Leslie Livingston. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. Heart Touched Queen by Roshani Choshki. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. The Exiled Queen by Cinda Williams Chima. The Color Project by Sierra Abrams. The 10th Anniversary Edition of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. And finally, I have The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. And then I got some more blue books. The things that I have on my shelves are my dagger that I use for bookstagram pictures, and also this little thing that I got in a box from an author. Starting off this shelf, we have The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera. Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alary Sides. The Beast is an Animal by Paternal Van Arsdale. The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Last Seen Leaving by Caleb Royer. They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Gasp by Lisa McMahon. Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Goodbye Days by Jeff Zentner. Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. Diversion by Veronica Roth. And finally Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. More blue over here. I start off with The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. Talking Jade by Suzanne Collins. The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. Yellow Brick War by Danielle Page. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. Death Cure by James Dashner. The Son of Neptune by Rick Riordan. Words in Deep Blue by Kath Crowley. A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. Winter Song by S.J. Jones. Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. What Light by Jay Asher. My True Love Gave to Me, edited by Stephanie Perkins and written by a bunch of different authors. And finally, Never Always Sometimes by Adi Elsa. And finally, moving out of the blue and into the purple pinkish shelf. I love this shelf. Um, so my little decorations, I have this beautiful card inspired by the Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Mass. And then I also have my Reese candle. Starting off this shelf, we have The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. Grey Wolf Throne by Cinda Williams Chima. Blood of Promise by Rochelle Mead. Unhinged by A.G. Howard. The Enchanter Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeka. The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. Blackbird Gallows by Meg Castle. Unite Me by Tahara Ma. Press by Marissa Meyer. Calamity by Brandon Sanderson. Because You Love to Hate Me, an anthology by 
by a bunch of YA authors. Wayfair by Alexandra Bracken. Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawkins. Roar by Cora Cormack. Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Scorched Trials by James Dashner. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. And finally, I have Furthermore by Tahra Ma. Now moving on to Pink in to Brown. First off, I have a little Hagrid standy thing. I also have a Chewy bobblehead from Star Wars. And finally, I have this little giraffe stuffed plushy thing that my friend got me. Starting off with some Pink, The Truth Beneath the Lies by Amanda Searchy. I Am Princess X by Cherry Priest. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Landline by Rainbow Rowell. Yes, I Like You by Casey West. This Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. The well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Better. Slammed by Colleen Hoover. The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. Speak by Lori Halls Anderson. The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. In the Afterlight by Alexandra Brack. Crash by Lisa McMahon. Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron. Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare and Friends. And finally, I have The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee. Moving on to the gray shelf, the only decoration I have is this own phone case that says Nevermind, which is in reference to a K-pop thing. First up, I have Hunted by Megan Spooner. City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rosh. Roseblood by A.G. Howard. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. The Scorpion Rules by Aaron Bow. Through the Dark by Alexandra Bracken. City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. These Vicious Masks by Taryn Shanker and Kelly Zekas. Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. Prodigy by Marie Lu. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Awkward Angel by Cassandra Clare. Rose Society by Marie Lu. An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Awkward Prince by Cassandra Clare. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rosh. Fairest by Marissa Meyer. The Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee. Victus by Ryan Grodden. Frost Blood by Ellie Blake. Where She Went by Gail Foreman. Codename Verity by by Elizabeth Wine. And finally, I have Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Now we are getting into the white shelf. First decoration is this picture of BTS, which is my favorite K-pop band ever. And then I have this big ceramic J. First up, I have Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. Untamed by A.G. Howard. By Stay by Gail Foreman. Legend by Marie Lu. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. Empire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Hurdles All the Way Down by John Green. Ask the Passengers by A.S. King. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. November 9 by Colleen Hoover. Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. And Confess by Colleen Hoover. First and Then by Emma Mills. War Cross by Marie Lu. Haven by Mary Lindsay. Mask of Shadows by Lindsay Miller. Just One Year by Gail Foreman. Always and Forever by Laura Jean. The Knife of Never Letting Go. And then finally, I'm not going to take them out of their box, but we have Twilight New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and the short second life of Brie Tanner over here in this box set. Now I'm on the very bottom shelf, so the angle is a little bit awkward, but we're just gonna deal with it. I have this little light up J again. Starting off, we have The Ask and the Answer by Patrick Ness. Edge of Everything by Jeff Guile. Champion by Marie Lu. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. The Tribulations of August Barton by Jefferson LeBlanc. Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. Just One Day by Gail Ford. P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Abundance of Catherines by John Green. 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray. Best Teen Writing of 2016. Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfield. Darkest Corners by Kara Thomas. Last Star Burning by Caitlin Sangster. Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. On Girl by Gillian Flynn. The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. 
Now I Rise by Kirsten White. Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. The 10th anniversary of Twilight, which includes Life and Death. Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. Little Monsters by Kara Thomas. The Dark Days Club by Allison Goodman. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. And finally, A Face Like Glass by Frances Hardin. Now moving on to the final section of my YA books. The only thing I have down here is this candle. First up I have The Last Namsara by Kristen Kekkerelli. Last Star by Rick Yancey. Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levin. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Milk and Honey by Ruby Cower. Warrior Air by Cinda Williams Chima. The Diviners by Libba Bray. All in Pieces by Susan Young. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Mack. Then I have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yant. Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. Carval by Stephanie Garber. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkins. Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Wright. The Incident on the Bridge by Laura McNeil. The Winner's Crime by Marie Rootkos. Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Winter by Marissa Meyer. Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. And finally, I have Stars above by Marissa Meyer. Next up I'm going to be showing you guys my Harry Potter shelf. So just going through the little pop figures, I have a pop figure of Dumbledore, a pop figure of Harry, a pop figure of Newt Scamander, and then I, I have a tiny little Niffler. And then I also have this golden snitch little figurine thing with a little Deathly Hallows um, keychain right here. And then also right here I have a Deathly Hallows necklace. That's kind of hard to see because it's all mirrored and stuff. I'm not going to take the time to take every single one of the Harry Potter books out because I'm sure you guys probably know what the covers look like. Um, but just going through them, I do have the illustrated edition of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I have the Sorcerer's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, and the Prisoner of Azkaban all in their illustrated forms. And then I have the complete hardcover set of the American editions of the original series. And then I have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child down at the end. And then I have the Fantastic Beasts and Where to find them screenplay by JK Rowling and then over there at the end I have the three little Hogwarts library things that I'm sure you guys have seen so it's Quidditch through the ages the tale of Beetle the Bard and Fantastic Beasts and where to find them very end down there I have the Philosopher's Stone in Latin and that's basically the overview of my Harry Potter shelf now is time for my ARC shelf so again ARC stands for advanced readers copy which means that I received these books before they were released to the general public um, and I got all of these arts from my local bookstore um, and I was also sent a few but mostly I got them from my local bookstore because I'm part of a program there. First up I have Genius by Leopoldo Gout, Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid, Boy Robot by Simon Curtis, Flawed and Perfect both by Cecilia Ahern, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, Mortal Coil by Emily Suvada, Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore, Girl in the Snow by Dania Kakafka, and The Empress by S.J. Kincaid, Arsonist by Stephanie Oakes, 27 Hours by Christina Wright, Dear Martin by Nick Stone, Warcross by Marie Lu, Witchwood by Tahra Mafi. I have a little chapter sampler along with the finished copy of There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins, Force of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, Twisted Tales by LHA, Project Pandora by Aden Paladors, Thornhill by Pam Smee, Flame in the Mist by Renee Audier, Something in Between by Melissa De La Cruz, City of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson, The Bells by Danielle Clayton, Map for Wrecked Girls by Jessica Taylor, Cash Hearts Tolstoy by Catherine Ormsby, The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexandra Bracken, And I Darken by Kirsten White, Nemesis by Brandon Rikes, Moxie by Jennifer Matthew, Panic by Lauren Oliver, Bright Smoke Cold Fire by Rosamund Hodge, The Swan Riders by Erin Bow, Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum, Leah Vanishes by Catherine Egan, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera, The Act Accident Season by Moira Fowley Doyle, The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock, The Inexplicable Logic of My Life by Benjamin O'Leary Sines, Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, Three Truths and a Lie by Brent Hartinger, The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner, When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanja Men Menon, Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden, The Hidden Memory of Objects by Daniel Magis Amato, Burning Midnight by Will McIntosh, It Wasn't Always Like This by Joy Preble, Night Speed by Chris Howard, The Crowns of Croswald 
Wild by D.E. Knight, My Sister Rosa by Justin Labarastier, Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver, The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matz, Proof of Forever by Lexa Hillier, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven, A List of Cages by Robin Rowe, Tell the Wind and Fire by Sarah Reese Brennan, Mirror in the Sky by Aditi Karana, Flashfall by Jenny Moyer, It Gets Worse by Shane Dawson, Zero Day by Jan Gansey, A Shadow Bright and Burning by Jessica Clewis, Flamecaster by Cinda Williams Chima, Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, and finally I have The You I've Never Known by Ellen Hopkins. Next up here I have my BTS shelf and as you can see I have a ton of stuff on here. I'm not going to go through it because it's not directly book related but if you guys want to see um, a tour of my BTS shelf please 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 let me know because I would be thrilled to go through all my stuff with you guys but you can just gaze at its glory for right now. And going down to one more shelf I basically just call this like my crap shelf because it has a ton of random stuff on it and it's just like the shelf that I have free to like put like a bunch of my junk so that's what that is. The only book that's on here is East of Eden by John Steinbeck. Down here I have my first little bit of my children's books that I still have or sort of like my middle reader kind of books that I still have. Um, The first thing is this little koala thing and then I have some of this little prince tea because I don't like tea so I'm using it as a decoration. And then I have a, this a picture of me and my family. First up here I have the entire series of the Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. Then I have Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Then I have my Rolled Doll Collection. So I have Matilda, Danny the Champion of the World, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Fantastic Mr. Fox, George's Marvelous Medicine, The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar and Six More, The Twins, The Magic Finger, Izzy Trot, The Witches, and Going Solo. Like I said, all by Rolled Doll. Then I have another copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Then I have The Voyages of Dr. Doolittle by Hugh Lofting. Point Blank by Anthony Horowitz. The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick. The Complete Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. And then finally down here we have a bunch of pillows. I have two Pride and Prejudice ones over there on the left. I have a Stranger Dreamer one and then a Sarah J. Mass one. Once you move those you have my second shelf of children's books. And also mixed in with my children's books, I do have like three nonfiction books over here at the end. First up, I got Astronomy 101, Into the Storm by Reed Timmer, and The Untold Story of Rasputin by Joseph T. Furtherman. Then I have The Hundred Dresses by Eleanor Estate, and then I have Chomp, Scat, Flush, and Hoot, all by Carl Hy Hyacinth. Green Book, which I guess technically is another nonfiction book. I have The Little Prince, Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, I have The Tales of Greek Heroes, The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling, then I have the pop-up edition of Oh, The Places You'll Go, it's Little Mad with a quote by Lin-Manuel Miranda that says love cannot be killed or swept aside now fill the world with music love and pride which I love this so much and over here I have my two copies of Inkheart by Cornelia Funk and then finally I have my A Court of Thorns and Roses coloring book by Sarah J Mass because I didn't know where the hell else to put it so it's down here now moving on to my classics bookshelf at the very top I have my Shakespeare basically shrine along with a few other plays, but mostly it's Shakespeare. So first I have this little candle that has Shakespeare's face on it that I got from my poetry teacher. And then I have another little candle right here. So I have Twelfth Night, Richard II. And also these are all the Pelican Shakespeare editions. And I have King Lear, Macbeth, Othello, and Hamlet. Then I have my starting collection of my Folgers editions. So again, I have King Lear, Macbeth, The Tempest, Romeo and Juliet, Comedy of Errors, Julius Caesar, Hamlet, Henry V, The Merchant of Venice, Twelfth Night, Othello, and finally my complete works of Shakespeare. And then my two other plays, I just have a copy of Fiddler on the Roof because I was the stage manager of it and then also Uncle Vanya by Anton Chekhov. Next up on this shelf are the classics that I either haven't read yet or the ones that were part of my curriculum this year for school. So for decorations, one, I have this little standee of BTS, and then I have a picture of me and my really good friend. First up, I have Lysias the First and Plato's Credo. This is one of my Greek texts. Introduction to the Philosophy of History. Discourse on Method and Meditations on First Philosophy by Rene Descartes. The Chemical History of a Candle by Michael Faraday. The Crucible by Arthur Miller. The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli. The Essays of Selection by Mike Michael de Montaigne. Plato's Protagoras. The Death of Ivan Ilyich and Other Stories by Leo Tolstoy. Paradise Lost by John Milton. The Divine Comedy by Dante. 
Day, St. Augustine's Confessions, The Aeneid by Virgil, Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien, Till We Have Faces by C.S. Lewis, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, 1984 by George Orwell, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky, Emma by Jane Austen, and finally Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. Next up, I have some of my all-time favorite classics, except for this one, which is the introduction to St. Aquinas. I hate this book, but I didn't have anywhere else to put it, so I just kind of shoved it right there. Right here, I got a little Lord of the Rings pin. Right here, I have my beautiful edition of Tale of Two Cities and also Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. I have the poetry of Emily Dickinson, a beautiful edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, Democracy in America by Alex de Tocqueville, Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Adventures of Robin Hood by Roger Lancelin Green, Animal Farm by George Orwell, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky, The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, and this is an abridged version, My Antonia by Willa Cather, The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, A Regular Copy of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, Political Writings by John Locke, A Little Version of A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens, and finally a normal edition of The Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Next up, I just got more classics. The first little thing that I have here is this little Russian doll decoration. I have Aristotle's Poetics, Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf, The Three Theban Plays by Sophocles, Oresteia by Aeschylus, Last Days of Socrates by Plato, Nicomachean Ethics by Aristotle, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger, A Mathematician's Lament by Paul Lockhart, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Dracula by Bram Stoker, The Mino by Plato, A New Oxford Annotated Bible, Brides Had Revisited by Evelyn Wow, The Odyssey and the Iliad by Homer, Aristotle's Politics, and finally The Republic of Plato. Moving on to the next shelf, the first thing that I have is The Illustrated Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. I also have this which my friend Zach gave me, um, which is The Tower of the Sunset on my normal shelf, so I just kind of stuck it here for the time being. Collection of Stories by Edgar Allan Poe, Honey Tremaine by Esther Forbes, Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka, Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis, and then I also have The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and The Last Battle, Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, the Miracle Worker by William Gibson, Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, One Day in the Life of Ivan Denisovich by Alexander Sol Solzhenitsyn, I can't say that, Walden and Civil Disobedience by Henry David Thoreau, Sophia by Thomas More, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham, Idols of the King by Alfred Lord Tennyson, Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, Beowulf by Seamus Heaney, Great American Short Stories, Out of the Silent Planet by C.S. Lewis, Classical Gods and Heroes, Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, and finally All Creatures Great and Small by James Harriet. And finally, I am on the very last shelf of this tour. Yay! If you've made it this long, I love you so much. First up, I have A Medicine for Melancholy by Ray Bradbury, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, Song of Roland, The Red Badge of Courage by Stephen Crane, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, The Chosen by Chain Potok, Billy Bud by Herman Melville, The Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, Selected Essays by Ralph Waldo Emerson, Portable Greek Historians, Who Talks Greek Live, Federalist Papers by Hamilton, Madison, and Jay, the Documentary History of the United States, The Era of the French Revolution, the Narrative Life of Frederick Douglass, Refre Reflections on the Revolution in France by Edmund Burke, The Abolition of Man by C.S. Lewis, Capitalism and Freedom by Milton Friedman, Leisure, the Basis of Culture by Joseph P. Small is Beautiful by E.F. Schumacher, Discourse on the Origin of Inequality by Rousseau, um, this is the Cicero Pro Archia Poeta, Poeta Oratia, which is a Latin text. And then I have the Aeneid by Virgil solely in Latin. And then the final book on my shelves is another Latin test and that is Catalyst and Horus. <sighs> So there you guys have it. That is my completed in-depth book tour as of January 2018. Every single book that I own, you have made it this far. You really deserve just a pat on the back. I am so proud of you. I've been filming for three and a half hours straight, and so that's going to be it for this video. But let me know down below what, how you think that I should organize my bookshelves next because I am sort of itching to sort of maybe get rid of the rainbow or maybe like switch it up a little bit. I'm not 100% sure, but let me know if you guys have any ideas. And yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you later in another video very, very soon. Bye!